Intense with the eyes, beautiful. Today at Gucci what we're doing is like is a very sharp ponytail, masculine in the front, but it has a sense of, of luxury too. What we're going to do, we're going to put these feathers in the last moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick the tail in here and it's going to be part of the hairstyle, as you can see. So it's like it's not it's, it's much more a luxurious feather instead of squaw or Indian, you know. It's completely the opposite. It's much more 70s. So very chic, very uh, very slick the front. The tail in the back is very sharp and uh, triangular. And after we put feathers, uh, just to give uh, a sense of um, accessorizer style. <laughs> We're backstage at Gucci and the look is a very luxurious look. Very decadent red lips. We've used a deep red on the lips and then we've added a bright red on the inside of the lips. And then tons and tons of mascara to make the eyes super strong. We've done it on top and bottom lashes, a real build up. Beige pencil on the inside of the eyes. And then as I said, a deep, deep, deep red from the new color Elixir Max Factor lipsticks and a really bright red on the center of the lips. Then there'll be tons and tons of lip gloss and eight hour on the lids. I think Gucci was outstanding. The color mixes were out of this world. You know, Freddie Giannini is certainly continuing on with her love of Saint Laurent, and there's no better person to look to for color inspiration. So all of this idea of cranberry and rose and magenta and plum together. And then at the opposite end of the spectrum, what we're seeing in Milan a lot is this idea of navy, teal, and turquoise mixed with sky blue. So there's that really warm, sensual color palette or this very more blue story that's a little bit cooler but super chic. A lot of teal with navy. And what a great thing for a woman who has something navy in her wardrobe right now. How does she update it with a teal shoe, a teal bag, even a teal hat or a little teal knit? She made a big change, less, uh, if you want, uh, aggressive in a certain way, less black leather, more feminine and beautiful colors. tapped into color last spring and I think she's going with it for fall. It seems to work very well for her. It's something she feels very comfortable in. I liked that she kind of stepped things up a bit, you know, I mean it was, you know, she has obviously been thinking about the pant, you know, Gucci's always known for their pants. There were a lot of 70s YSL references, you know, very sophisticated, very European palette. A lot of polka dots, black and white color contrasting. Also piled on the accessories. We saw the glasses and the big, they're like the Aristotle Onassis glasses, but they were in the beautiful colors.
She got the Jackie O bag back, made it into a shoulder strap. She threw another bag, you know, the bags, <laughs> double bags on the runway. <laughs> the bags, the bags, the bags. The iconic bags were on the runway. I mean, one right after another. She seems to have returned to that. So it was sort of like a greatest hit. So the Gucci's bags. You know, the thing that Gucci always used to do, you know, was a great shoe, the must-have shoe of the season. It always was very sexy, but at the same time very wearable, and I think you saw that here with, it, as I said, the modified platforms. Chiffon is back, that's something that we haven't seen in a long time. I really enjoyed the Gucci show. It's had, for me, had a very strong um, Saint Laurent vibe, but done in her own way. I thought the colors were amazing. The colours were incredible, and the hair and makeup, the attitude of the girls, it was all full-on Gucci. I think it was a very strong show for Frida.